Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about how do we create a customer profile for the existing customer, which is created using the FBD ad. So let us understand what are the prerequisites when you want to create a customer profile. So before proceeding further, let me tell you one important thing. If any customer is created using the FBDI, there is no way you can create the customer profile from the UI. The only option is you have to use the FBDI for that. I'm not sure about the web service approach, but generally, if at all, if a customer is created from the customer is created using FBDI, the only way you can create a customer profile is using FBD again. From the UI, you cannot do it. And now a profile can be created at the account level as well as site level. So for the account level, we require three sheets. One is a party sheet, account sheet, as well as customer profile sheet. For creating a customer at site level, you require a party sheet, account sheet, account site sheet, as well as customer profile sheet. Okay. So this is a very much like uh, information which is required whenever you want to create a customer profile at the account level or site level. Before proceeding further, let me show you the data which I created, and then we'll understand how do we, like what all the things we can consider while creation of it. So let me search the account. So here, if you observe the profile data, so what I have done is, this is my, the first record is account data. Second record is a site data. For the account level, we have to populate only account information. So here, if you observe, I have populated only the account information and site level, there is nothing to populate. This is not required at all. And this remaining information, right? Remaining information, the profile information, which you have to populate, like a custom profile class is default, payment terms as like uh, whatever the payment terms and some there are some set of mandatory parameters definitely you have to populate and there is another important parameter is organization id so for the account level it does not need to populate any value for it but definitely as it is a mandatory parameter it will fail it it will fail if you don't provide the value for it so just provide minus one for it and coming to the profile data customer profile data the same data where you have to require to populate the account side data and then the remaining set of what are the profile information you want to populate, just populate them. And the other important one is you have to pass the organization ID. But how do you know the organization ID? So generally, whenever you create a customer profile or nothing but whenever you create account or account site, we always assign address it. And the next thing is when you want to create a profile, you require a BU, a BU ID. Organization ID is nothing but a business unit ID. But how do you know it, right? So generally, Every particular address set is linked to an organization. It can be it can be linked to n number of organizations. Based on your requirement, you have to find out for which organization you want to create a customer profile. And also, I already have a query in my uh, slide, so I'll show you that. So here, if you observe, using this particular logic, using the logic between the address set, business unit, you can get which business, like uh, for this address set here, if you observe, first site is our address set code, and this is linked to n number of business unit. And I want to assign this particular profile for the business unit US one business unit. So I have to select the BUID, which is written by this particular query. Okay. That's how you have to populate the BUID. Now, the next thing is like, now here, if you observe the customer profile, it requires the account data and it requires a site data. Nothing but it required, we have to populate the data in the party sheet, account sheet, account site sheet, as well as profile sheet, right? So as of now, we have discussed about the profile sheet. Now let's see the data, which we have to populate the party level. Let's start from the party level now. So here, if you observe, I have mentioned the party data for all the records. Actually, we are working on only this first record. Remaining records are of no use. So I just mentioned that, but it's of no use. And this is a first party data. You just mentioned the, what are the party reference you have. You have to mention the party data. Similarly, you have to mention the accounts, account, like uh, account data. This is the first record, which I'm, whichever I'm highlighting, that is the first record for which I have updated the customer profile. And next one, account side data. This is the first record for which you have to populate the account side data. So here, if you observe, when you're really creating a customer account site or a party site, right? You may be populating some additional columns, but if at all, if you want to provide some information for the dependency purpose, you just need to mention only the reference set of columns as well as mandatory columns. Remaining columns, it does not need to mention in, mention at all, okay? So now let us see the profile from the UI. So if you observe the account level profile, this is how it looks like. This is the account level profile and similarly, if you see the site level profile, click on site number. And here, this is how it looks like a profile. Now, let me show you the a customer for which I have created from UI, for which I, uh, I have not created the profile and see how it looks like and why it does not allow. It's kind of an existing uh, bug or I can say existing functionality for which it does not allow you to create customer profile from the UI. So this is one of the customer which is created using the FBDI. And if you just click on the account here, and here, right? So here, if you observe, does not show any action here. 
and you can see that like the page totally got corrupted you know the navigation itself totally failed so this is what happens when you are trying to navigate to a customer which is created using fbdi and if you want to create a profile right so the only option i have to do is i just have to navigate to this particular page again okay so if you observe this for account which is which is having 1012 in the middle is not having a customer profile and that was created using the fbdi now we'll try to con we'll try to create a customer profile for the 1012 record okay so first of all and we know let, let us see the review the steps which are involved so to create a customer right to perform the import what do you require you, you have to get the fbdi template you have to generate the batch identifier first she, first first step we already have it we have the fbdi template and also we have populated the data next thing is we have to get the we have to get the latest batch identifier right and then we have to perform the remaining steps so let us generate the batch identifier what i'll do is i'll go to receivables click on billing task list customer manage data import and here click on this plus symbol and mention the batch name so i'll go with batch 014 comma separated values save and close and this is my batch id now what i'll do is i want to populate the data for the second customer okay so i'll close the unnecessary sheets and close the other one which is not required okay so now let us start start from the party level so now the record which i want to consider is the second one right so i'll just populate this one and remaining records you don't require okay i can just remove it okay make a note of batch id next one is account go to account here we can delete this one also next one is site we can delete the other records okay now next coming to the last one customer profile so first of all change the batch id and now i want to insert the data at the account level as well as site level but i have to get my references right so i have to get my account reference as well as site reference so what you do is you can navigate to the either account sheet or site sheet so now go to the so now let us say i want to populate the site information so i'll copy this okay this is my account site data and now i have to populate my account reference also account reference you can get from either of the sheet either account sheet or site sheet okay so now what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a customer profile for this account at the account level as well as site level and the other set of profile values you know i am just going with the default and the very important thing is the business unit id so based on your requirement you have to populate the appropriate value for the so okay yeah let's generate okay so now let's go here go to the location i want to save here click on save okay now next step is like uh, if you observe the steps right the three steps are done right now you have to go with the fourth step loading the data into the interface table go to the tools schedule process schedule new process
select the zip file. Can submit. It will take a couple of seconds as we have very small data, right? So, and now it has to show four load jobs. Yeah, and all has to be succeeded. Yes, the final one is also completed. Now what we can do is we can go to our receivables, billing. Click on manage data import. And now this was a batch for which we have inserted. Click on action and import. And click on next, next, and here. Go with the, the second option. Skip the preview and directly load the data into the data once processing is completed. So this will perform the insertion into the base table directly once the validation is done. This may take a couple of seconds. And we can follow the similar approach for other sheets also. The only important thing is whenever you are populating the data for the dependency for the any of the sheet, the dependency value should be there. Most most of the times, party account and accounts account set of sheets to be populated whenever you are trying to populate the data for the remaining set of things. Let us say if you want to populate the payment terms. I mean, let me show you that. If at all, if at all, if you want to populate the data for the payment methods, definitely what you require is you have to populate the data for the party account and site level. Or else, another scenario I'll try to explain maybe in the next session. If at all, if you want to update the DFF value, maybe at account level or site level or party level, right? So in those kind of scenarios, what you require is you just need to populate the data of that particular sheet. You don't require to populate the remaining set of things. Now, let us say I want to update the DFF at the site level or create the DFF at the site level. You just need to populate only that particular sheet, right? So again, it depends. Like we have to be very careful when you're trying to populate the data based on the sheet which you're considering, based on the entity which you're populating, you may require the dependent information, okay? So let's see. So here, if you observe, right, for account, it says update. For account site, it says update, right? Because it just updates. It will not perform any insertion. It cannot insert, right? It's an existing record. But how does it know it's an existing record? It validates the data based on the site information, like uh, the reference, whichever we've mentioned. Based on that, it mentions. And if you have observed carefully, like there is nowhere we mention whether you want to consider insert or update, except in the customer profile. Remaining places, we have not mentioned that. But whenever you want to update customer profile, let us say if you want to update customer profile, right? Definitely you have to mention update or insertion carefully. Else it will, else you may get an error. It'll take some time. Okay. So if you observe, it says five records. Why, why we have five records? Let us see that one by one. Account, account site, and uh, customer profile, two records. And the other one is a party, right? So as per this, it says everything is completed successfully, but we can also validate from the UI. Go to billing. And what was the number? This is our account number. And in my case, account number and account source were same. That's why like uh, I got this information. And uh, I can just click here. Right. In my case, I just mentioned same thing. Or if at all, if your reference values are different, what you can do is you can go to account sheet and from there you can get the remaining information. Click on the account number. Let us see the profile now. Yes, it got created successfully. And similarly, you can see the data at the site level and it also should be created successfully. Right. So this is how we can create a customer profile at the account level and site level. And we have discussed like what are the prerequisite sheet we require. Okay. Thank you.